Hey friends, Cloudbart here. Time for another one minute identity and access management lesson. All this talk about composite permissions and statements and multiple policies affecting the holistic permissions call has got my head spinning. And so I thought we could spend a few minutes talking a little bit about permissions evaluations within AWS. Remembering that whenever AWS goes to evaluate permissions, they're looking at all of the potential policies and statements that could affect that call at that particular point in time using the context provided in the call. This means that starting right out, the first thing that AWS is going to do is say, did anybody deny this particular action? This is really important. The first check is looking to see whether there was uh, what they call an explicit deny. And you've probably heard me say this if you've watched some of the other videos. If not, go back and check out the rest of the course there. But this explicit deny gets checked. If it is in place, we halt all the rest of the processing because there's nothing that's gonna override that. So very important, they check this up front as an efficiency piece. And it does again illustrate that once there's an explicit deny, there is no overriding it later on. So the second item that we would check then would be to see whether or not anybody actually allowed the permissions. Okay, now this is where somebody actually went into your identity, your resource, your organization policies and said that a specific user under certain scenarios can perform those actions. Keeping in mind, friends, that in all of these, you'd have to consider conditionality as well, the nature of the call, the timing, all of those pieces could potentially drive whether it's an allow or deny statement, something that we've talked about a lot more in other lessons. This brings us down to the very third and final check, which is, okay, if it wasn't explicitly denied and it wasn't explicitly allowed, then we are back into another deny scenario. And if you've watched some of my other videos, you've probably heard me talk about it. This is the implicit or the implied deny. Very important to kind of keep this in mind here because this is the last one, the catch all that says, well, if they didn't block it and nobody allowed it, then we're just gonna go ahead and take the safe road here and deny any actions on that particular call. So in the end, friends, this simple permissions evaluation process works within a single policy and it works across statements across multiple policies as well. Now, things get a little trickier and we'll save that for another lesson when we start considering how the hierarchy works with organization service control policies, permissions boundaries, on into identity, resource, and some of the other interesting permission schemes that we can create as well. So stick around and hopefully we'll see you next time.